Well, I'm here at Joshua Tree. I stopped at the visitor center briefly. Talked to a young man over there about Old Dale Road and going out on that. That will uh, take me basically straight across the park here to Highway 62, and then I can continue on to Death Valley. But I, I think I'm probably, just, it's kind of early in the day, but I think I'm probably just going to spend the night out here along El Old Dale Road. Black Eagle Road on the right, Old Dale Road on the left. Roads not maintained, four-wheel drive, vehicles only. I think I'm going to take a picture of the sign right there. Say the road's not maintained, but this looks kind of graded to me. <laughs> it's still quite a bit of loose sand. But there's a hard piece that's right underneath it. On the sand pull the uh, pull the steering around so went ahead and went to four-wheel drive there to be a four-wheel drive before I need it
believe that is Mission Well that I'm seeing up there on the left. I think I'll stop there. gear so I can take those a little bit more slowly. <laughs>
till I start smelling a little bit of gas as I was driving along. The road's real rough. And it, uh, one of the jerry cans that I had up on top uh, was leaking a little bit of gas. There's a little O-ring in these. And uh, sometimes it falls out of place. I may not have noticed it when I filled it. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and... It probably fell in the bottom of the gas can. If I can get this thing open. I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, and put this gas into my tank right now. There's plenty of room for two and a half gallons. I filled up in the town of Mecca, which was the last uh, town I drove through before I came into the park. And what did I do with that little hose, that little adapter hose? I have an adapter hose. There it is. Got the two and a half gallons out of the can that was uh, leaking a little bit, and uh, it's actually not leaking; it's seeping off of the uh, where the cap screws down. But the O-ring has probably fallen into the can. It happens to me sometimes, and uh, I'm ready to go again. I got the can secured up on top, so here we go. five gallon jerry cans but I thought I might need a little bit extra so I brought two and sometimes I carry as many as four of those two and a half gallon cans plastic cans and uh, yeah the, the metal jerry cans are just a lot better <laughs> they work they seal up I have I have replaced the seals on them because they do tend to uh, dry out and crack after a while. But replacement seals are easy to obtain. Take these a little bit slower. It doesn't seem to matter much, does it?
got a high temp warning. I have a feeling all this washboard is tearing up this relay that uh, I used for the, uh, the engine fan off. So I've had this happen before. So fortunately it's not overflowing, but it is, uh, it is bubbling an awful lot. <laughs> Let it cool down. This is the problem relay right here. I've got a spare if I need to put it in. Usually tapping on it is enough to bring it around. So right as I broke down, I passed a couple of guys who had, uh, who were camped here. And uh, I walked back and talked to them a little bit, trying to get some information. They said they'd like to help me. So I'm gonna go ahead and drive Jeep back over there. It's, it's actually cooled back down now. It's not heating up right now. I don't know if the engine fan has uh, started running or not. You got about eight miles to get out to the road. That's what I wanted to ask. Yeah. Eight miles to the road, and then it's uh, uh, another. Geez. What is it, about 15 miles to get into uh, 29? Eight to get up. Okay. Okay. I was figuring about eight. Uh, I checked a couple miles ago. Yeah. It looked like it was about 10. Uh, which uh, which way were you were you going up into the canyon? Uh, it's quicker if you go straight. I was just going to follow Old Dale Road. That'll do it. Okay. Yeah. There's a little drop there. You don't want to go up this. You don't want to go. There's there's about a two mile detour. Oh, you know I saw that on one of the maps. Yeah, it looks like a. Normally I w probably would, but not, yeah, not, I mean it's the fun way to go if you're going to do the upper road. Well, we check for 12 volts and uh, don't have it when we think we should. The engine has cooled down. We never got the fan to run. So just gonna go until it starts to get hot and I'll pull over and let it cool down. We said the highway's eight miles of roads. Dan and Phil, who are helping me there, great amount of help. There's a highway eight miles from here, and it's just a, a road like this, and along with some sandy wash.
So I'm going to pull over, let it cool down. This may be where I spend the night, I don't know.